Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spurkus and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I gotta say, I, I just love this game. I love it. Walking through these gates, I mean, it's just friggity awesome, me. Oh, that's our room, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna be our room in a, in, a, in, a, in a moment. In a moment's notice. Now, what are we gonna do today is, uh, well, we're gonna do the quests what they have around here at the at Sasa and the monastery. Um, we also see that we're gonna get back to Ratai, well, as soon as possible, more or less. Um, you know, I, I got a tip. Um, where to where to get like a shit ton of money, and um, we already got a shit ton of money. And um, previous love, previous love, it's generates more and more money. But you know, I always take all kind of money, take all the money I can get. So um. Metalhead? No, not Metalhead. We need to go over here. We have, uh, go to the monster and ask about the Exidonta. Who can tell me about the exit? You can tell me about the Exidonta. Hello, sir. Please tell me about the Exidonta. Or let me go inside, inside first. Can I take a look inside the monastery? Please, please. What's got into you, boy? Pretty please. The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. No others shall pass. Blah, 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 blah. Screw you two, then. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'll be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study's right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Farewell. Good. Where do I have to go now? <laughs> um, I have to go over. Ah, 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 there he is. I think. Hello, sir. Good health to you. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it. Or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role. But I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of. And that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't care. So they sent you a letter from Talmberg. They sent you a letter from Talmberg. Really? Hand it over then. Oh no, I'm not the messenger. They sent it earlier. And it still hasn't arrived? It depends on who the letter was passed on to. But I'm sure it will find its way here in the end. Ah, oh, bye. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. Interesting. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. May the Lord watch over you. We'll be coming back, people. And we're going to steal everything they have around here. What does that stick do? I don't really see how you can pull the gate up with the stick. Oh, 
Don't don't fall down. <gasps> Not good. If you fall down, you get killed pretty much. Ah, oh, look. The shit places. In other places, where this shit. Pretty, pretty shitty, shitty, shittily. Okay, we should probably go out of here before we kind of get fined or whatever. La 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 la. Damn it. Hey, excuse me, sir. Why did you block that the room here? Hmm, can't go in here. Very, very curious. In somebody's chambers. Oh. <laughs> okay, so how's the food situation? Quite fine because I was um Banging some wenches in between episodes just before we started this episode. Um, I have to go now. To this guy. Hey, this guy. What up? Where are you, this guy? Stone Mason, Padre. No, no, there. Wait, what? What? Huh? It's a mad face. Weird ass redstones. Those are weird ass redstones. I keep you you're doing a amount of woodworking for for a stone mason. So maybe uh, you're you're a woodworker and not a stone mason. Huh? Huh? Could that be? Huh? Huh? Probably not. Alright, the other guy. Hey that guy. Master Carol, I think we should have a talk. I don't know. What did to God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. May the Lord watch over you. Look around for clues. Somewhere over there. Who owns the place? What? Huh? Huh? It's just to be. Uh, but wh where is it again? We're right here. We need to go. Ah, 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 ah. I know. I think. It's down here, wasn't it? There it is. Yeah, I'd rather use the ladder before we break our bones on sticks and stones. There you have it. The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. We have found the ball from the cave. Looks quite ordinary. It does, doesn't it? Quite, quite ordinary. Yet, it isn't. Can't get up here. There you go. Well done, Henry. 
Hmm. There's something up there? No. Like that over here, that's just cliffs or something. Ah. Son of a bitch. Don't die, you idiot. Ah. Ah. You lucky son of a bitch. You're a stupid son of a bitch, but lucky nonetheless. All right, where do I have to go next? Oh, over here? Hmm. All right, I think I have to think now. It's the perfect place to think. The church is calling to us. Jesus Christ be praised. So we're back in Rata, eh? Um, so we can talk to that woman. What up, woman? God grant you health. Jesus Christ be praised. I asked around in Sasa. Father Francis is doing well in Sasa. He has no plans to return to St. James anytime soon. You talk to him? How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. I asked the abbot. He said they have work for him elsewhere and that St. James will have to wait. Wait? I remember the last time. We had to go to Sasa for almost two years. I probably won't even live that long. That won't be that bad. Meanwhile, you can work at Master Hagen's house and who knows? You might even find you like it. You're probably right. What else can I do at my age? And the presbytery is too big for one woman alone. So you agree you'll go and work for Hagen? Isn't that what I just said? I'll go and do housekeeping for him. Good luck then. Well, apparently she's supposed to be very, very old. Um, I don't really see that. She, she sure, sure looks a bit older. But not that old that you'd die within the next two or five years. <laughs> well, you know, back in the day, all you needed was a bad winter, and then you died. Or even a good winter, doesn't matter. And <laughs> you still might die, but still, she doesn't really look that old. Anyway, Senor Balif, I finally did the job for you. You gave to me, like, what, three months ago or something? My respects to you. Jesus Christ be praised. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. Yay! Master Bailiff? Don't even t Oh, fuck you. All right, let's go ahead and fuck you. Fuck you. You. I gotta say, just walking around here, looking at the rooftops of the city, all the smoke coming out, it's just fucking beautiful, people. Just fucking beautiful. Anyways, so apparently, wait, no, no, wrong button. Before we do that, there you go. Um, we have a very, 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 very lucrative stealth kill. Hello, sir. What's this one here? No. This one wasn't it. Hello, sir. How are we doing today? What's in here? There you go. As a chameleon, we are invincible. Uh, invisible. And invincible. There's another guy sleeping around here. Another one sleeping. What's this one here, right? Yeah. A very hard chest. 
not to mistaken with a very very soft and busty chest. Hmm. Did they fix it? Okay, wait a minute. I think it's this one here. Um, if we go to the player. Dialogue, quest, quest, quest. Crap. So we've still done about 100,000 stuff worth of question. Okay, that's good to know. Did they fix it? I was looking around, and apparently that was the... Hmm. I think that was supposed to be that chest. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there was some... some in there, quite, quite a bit in there, but... Not 250,000 worth of stuff in there. This one's also only hard. This one's easy. I'm pretty sure that one downstairs was the big one. I think they fixed it. I think they fixed the amount that's in the stuff. They must have patched it. Still got some stuff, but they must have patched it. Oh, well. What am I robbing here? Oh, that stuff. Yeah, sure. Use the ladder. Use the ladder, Luke! Okay, the final thing. That's, that's the watchtower. It's supposed to be in the watchtower. Oh, here we have that guy. Is it this Tell one? Me what you've got concealed. Why? Orders of his lord. Well, your lordship can go suck it. Okay. You want to pick? Look. Sat. Stupid as mud. I can't. You can't close the door. <laughs> I want to knock him out. I'm not killing him, but knocking him out. Do we have the lullaby potion? Dollmaker, but no lullaby. Senor Capon. I was just on my way back. It cost me a lot of effort, but it seems I've finally succeeded in making a half decent warrior out of you. Thank you. Anything I can do for you? Oh, yeah, I had the STP tournament. Apparently, that's part of the DLC. Sir Hans, I heard something about a tourney in Ratai. Yes, Which I already I won. just decided to revive <laughs> the tourney at the Upper Castle. It's only a bit of entertainment for commoners. A few fellows on foot bashing each other with various weapons. Well, you don't seem like your usual cheerful self, sir. Anything wrong? Yes, blast it. Hanush was on my back about what I'd do all day, so I told him I was busy dealing with very important nightly matters. I said I was training my future page in combat, initiating him into the art of swordsmanship and other battle skills. 
I didn't know you had a page. Well, that's just the thing. I don't. It was just something I made up on the spot to get him off my back. Only it seems I was a bit too convincing. Now, Uncle wants my imaginary page to demonstrate what he's learnt in the tourney. Mm. I can see how that could be a bit awkward. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. The old man is like a dog with a bone. He'll never let go. Unless... Yes, now I think of it. I'll tell Hanush I was training you. All you have to do is enter the tourney, batter the fuck out of all the other peasants, and <laughs> everyone will be happy. Except for the losers, of course. Of course. But I get killed! Oh, Jesus, what are you getting me into now? I'll get killed. Nonsense, you're a born warrior. And besides, it's only a bit of friendly violence, not a life or death struggle. You have to put up some coin to enter, though. Naturally, I'll pay for that, so you don't go around calling me a pinch purse. Go and see the tournament master. You'll find him somewhere around the upper castle courtyard. He'll explain everything and sign you up. Run along now. And don't let me down, Henry. Remember, you have to demonstrate you've been trained by a master. Sure. Your wish is my command. Excellent. Afterwards, we'll drink to your glorious deeds. Good luck, then. No, I okay. I thought we might do the quest or something. That um, but which one was it? No, wrong button here. Ah, uh, DLC: The Amorous Adventures. After about Rubber Baron. Yeah, we're gonna get there at some point. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I didn't get two hundred fifty thousand groschen out of it, but uh, still five thousand. Plus, some haggling on top. You know, it's too late for anybody else to be <laughs> open still. But good thing is, we don't have to, um, since it's you. Nice. Um, thankfully, we have the Miller over here. He doesn't have opening hours. All he has is shit ton of money. Miller boy. Is there any work for carpenters? Is there any work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. About betting on the tourney, I'd be interested. What kind of wager are we talking about? I'm glad to hear it. All right. A nice little wager. In the role in the tournament, we'll do that. Of Goes because we can. Well, well, Henry. Hello. How come you stink like that? You've been with whores, haven't you? What? Me? Never. None of your business, bitch. <laughs> what if I have? A man has his needs. Just because we're together doesn't mean you can tell me what I can or can't do. So that's your attitude, is it? Well, you know what? Go with your whores. Do what you like. Just go and do it somewhere else. And don't show your face here again. Oh, that didn't work as planned. God damn it. Go. Leave me be. Go. Mm. Mm. I have no arrows. Son of a bitch woman. On your way. Okay, let's let's sleep over it, okay woman? Let's sleep over it. Come on, woman. I told you to get lost. Son of a bitch woman. Clear off. All right, my lady. I hope this time you're not going to be such a bitch anymore. Well, well, Henry. The girls told me they'd seen you with those... those shameless wenches at the bathhouse. What? Is it true? Of course not. All right, I just saved, so let's admit it. Are you... Yes. I've been with another girl. So what, we've been Sorry. exclusive? I thought we weren't. Really, Henry? I never expected that from you. 
Do you take me for some silly goose of a village girl who will warm your bed for you while you're out whoring? Pretty much, yeah. Again, get out of here and don't come back. I'm finished with you. Hmm. What can I punch you? I mean, seriously, people, it's the Middle Ages. All right, back in the day, when the woman was just bitchy, you bitch slapped her. <laughs> you know, so she can feel the love. <laughs> well, well, Henry. Hello. The girls told me. Um, what if we try that again? None of your business, woman. What if I have? Just because we're to. So that. So no, so doesn't matter, huh? All right. Let's check the ravioli rage right over here. What if? You've got a look. What if I have? Just because we're together. So that's your attitude. Where have you been? Actually, never mind. Uncle has the same look on his face when he's been. When he's been at those nasty baths. What have you been up to? How could I cheat on a pretty kid like you, huh, woman? Nah, never. Never? Why on earth would I go with some harlot when I've got the prettiest girl around? Exactly. <laughs> you silver-tongued devil. But I know you. You'd never lie to me. Of course not. I'm sorry for doubting you. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> Matthew and Fritz and their regards. Oh, yeah, That's so I'll hard go Henry, so... My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? Well, not very well. Uh, they're not doing very well. The monks helped them get over the worst of it, but they have debts and can't find any work. Poor souls. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters? Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in Ledechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. It's probably too late, eh? Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? Good day, Henry. It's a bit late now. We'd be coming home in the dark. Another time, all right? No, actually, we're probably going to come home in the daylight, so... <laughs> because it is already quite dark. Okay, so, um... Since it's dark right now... We have, um... No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. So we're back in uh, Sasau. Because we have to do some... Stealing around here. Two things for quests. And number one is in this little church here. You motherfucker's still in here. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. What the fuck are you doing here? I see one of your kins passed away. Damn it. Old father. We're all gonna miss him. Can I say my farewells to him? I'm sorry. I don't know you, and it's important not to disturb the dead. I want my father's soul to depart in peace. I see you're taking care of your father like a true Christian. I'm trying. My father, God rest his soul, deserves nothing less. And have you made atonement for his sins? What? Why? Do you think that's necessary? Always. Of course. Of course it is. Hell and eternal damnation are not to be taken lightly. My father was a decent man. God be with him. Good luck to you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you really gonna... Okay, he's gonna fuck us up then. All right. If you want to get fucked, you get fucked, you motherfucker. Get over here, you bitch. Come on, I'll get you. <clears throat> that little bitch. Ah. 
Right in his stupid ass face. Oh. What the fuck? He is killing us here. He's dead now. Good. You can keep the arrow. We weren't here. We've never been here. All right. I mean, he pissed me off, but guys, he pissed me off. He he was not supposed to, you know, um, attack us. It's like it's not a nice thing to do. So if you don't do, if you do not nice things to us, then we do some bad things to you too. So, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, where's the slipper? No, there it is. There's the stuff. The two box, tinker box, whatever box. The tailor's box. Where is it? Does he have it with him? I thought it was lying around over here somewhere. Hmm. That's just random crap. Hmm. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. How far are we away still from level, what, 15, I think, was is the highest? <sighs> Not that much. We don't have the drink. We don't have the alchemy potion. I've never learned it. I don't think I've also found ever the recipe, so... Yeah, that's a bit of a shit, but... Well, if we need food, it's always quite easy for us to find and to go with it. I hear the people are sleeping around here, so here I need to be careful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got schnapps in my tummy. Yeah. Why not, I guess? Hey, Guta. Dear, dear Guta. Guta, Guta. Oh, somebody has some dye in there. Another one. Somebody likes to what? Somebody likes to gamble around here, eh? Shh. Shh. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna take the air out of you. A 
bit drunk. What? This is so stupid. This is so stupid, I'm sorry. But, alright. Take that. Always take the sausage. I always take the sausage. Oh yeah. What? I didn't, what? Uh, anyways, what else do you got, buddy? Your tinker tinker box. Pickpocketing available. What? Really? Yeah. Bless you. Now oh, that was um, quite quite a haul. Bless you. Too bad I got the keys for these two chests, not for the two chests downstairs, who are very, very hard to open, apparently. So... Mm. So have a look what we have around here. Nothing. Amazing. All right, fellas. I'm going to take a nap now, and I'll see you then uh, tomorrow on the next episode. Ah, fresh in the morning. We're going to go to the charlatan and to the farmhand. And we'll pick up the crown for the lady Stephanie. You know, that's fun stuff. So, see you next episode. Goodbye.